I can't see my path. I don't know where I'm going. That's because it's your path. That's because it's your path. Hey friends, I'm Joe Kurleski, the Super Brave Teacher. And before I get into Brene Brown's awesomeness again, I want you to like this video. Click like, 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 like. I want you to share this video. Click share, 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 share. I want you to subscribe to this channel. Click subscribe, it's free, it's awesome. And even click that little bell that says, tell me when these videos are being posted, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Share this, tell a story, say, hey, there's this quirky, energetic, gay man who makes these videos who kind of just teaches me something every week, three times a week, because I'm gonna tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way, and not just Google and YouTube, the world. Did you hear that world? I'm gonna tip the world in a radically positive and accepting way, because guess what? That's what love and compassion does. It tips things, it shifts things. It's not quick. It doesn't just happen like that, but it's gonna happen. So thank you for what you do and who you are. Brene Brown, do you hear me? Do you know how much I love you? Oh, Brene Brown, do you hear me? I want to brave the wilderness with you. Yes, this book, I'm gonna promote it all I can. Is awesome. Go check it out. Go buy it. Go read it. Go get it uh, from your library. Whatever it is, go get it. It is awesome because the gay teacher tip of the week this week is what I learned from Brene Brown, which is if you can see your path, it's not your path. You're not on your path. Now, right away, you're probably thinking to yourself, but Joel, isn't it good to have a plan? But Joel, I need to know where I'm going or else I'm gonna get lost. But Joel, what's gonna happen if, if I get, if I, if, if I hear you, I see you, I value you, I respect you, and I get that mentality. I have definitely, you are talking to the planner, you are talking to the person who, like every day, talks to his husband and is like, hey, um, did you have a, an idea, plan, an idea of like what, what the day might look like? Okay, uh-huh, and how, what do you think it would look like, like by the out, like what do you think, like at two we're gonna do this, and then like 2.22 we're gonna finish that, like what's the plan? <laughs> and. I realized that when I, first of all, it's fine to have goals, it's fine to have plans. I'm not at all saying don't have that. And I don't think Brene Brown ah, is saying that either. But so often we are so in the future, we are so there that we don't look right below us and take one step at a time and realize that that's the only way we can do it. Even if I plan out my day, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this, which I love. <laughs> then all of a sudden I'm losing sight of the present. So when I'm like, okay, husband of mine, could we plan this, this, and this? Then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm not even enjoying drinking a cup of coffee with you. I'm not even enjoying reading the paper with you. I'm not even enjoying these things, these beautiful moments that are right here, that are present with us right now. So I really want to encourage you to realize that if you don't see your path right now, that's a good thing because that's your path. If you know the path, that's probably someone else's path and it's not gonna spark joy in you. It's not gonna spark bravery in you. It's not gonna do anything because it's not your path. It, it might get you there, but it's not your path. So really be thinking about that because you're talking to a teacher here. I am the type of teacher who like, I, I can predict this child's gonna like have an accident. <laughs> three hours before it's gonna happen. I'm like, I'm just gonna move this chair here because I predict, I already see this happening. I already see you like falling and hurting yourself. So I'm just gonna do this. And if you're a parent, I'm sure you know that you like, you have this like sixth sense always with your kids where you're like, oh, I heard a little cough. That's a fever. I'm gonna figure this out right away. If you can't see your path, it's your path. If you can see your path, it's not your path. So really sit in that. Sit in that and be challenged in that be challenged with me because being present, being here right now is so hard. Even as I'm filming this video, I'm like, okay, when I get this done, I gotta film another one and I gotta go to this. <sighs> Be on the path with me, okay? One step at a time, okay? If you would have asked me six months ago, was I gonna be filming these videos? No, but every step I took, it started leading me this way. And so many people are asking me like, 
okay, what's the next step? Once you get this, what's the next step gonna be? And I'm like, the next step is talking in this video, clicking, stop, filming the ending of the video, <laughs> clicking, stop. Like, this is literally all I can do and focus on and do well right now. You know, I'm writing this book and it's been amazing. I've done 50 days in a row. I'm at 57,000 words. Do you hear that universe? Did you hear that? Jen Sincero, all these beautiful people. I'm there, I'm doing my path. But the moment I start thinking, ooh, what kind of cover do I want in my book? What should the font be? Oh, I need to be start designing like the perfect, the perfect everything for this book. That I'm missing that right now, I gotta do my thousand words and tomorrow I'm gonna do a thousand more words and that's all I can do today to be present and be the best me. It's hard. As I'm talking, I'm sure you might be thinking, Joel, I'm gonna skip this video because it's kinda hard and I don't want, I wanna know my path. I hear that too. I hear that too. So, thank you for being on this path with me. Thanks for being in this struggle with me. It is hard, it is not easy. It is much easier to be, for me to be like, you're awesome, let's film videos that say how awesome you are. But these challenging ones where we brave the wilderness together are some of my favorite ones because I get to be vulnerable with you and I get to say, this is so hard. Especially since I have been programmed to be this way my whole life, or maybe I'm just in this way my whole life, to always be thinking of what's next, what's next, what's next? Five steps ahead instead of step by step by step. So like this video, share this video, what are you learning? Are you, are you a Brene Brown lover like I am? If not, who do you love? Who should I be reading? I read bazillions of books all the time. Leave a comment below. I wanna know, are you braving the wilderness? Are you getting to the wilderness? Do we even know what the wilderness is? Should I do a whole book review on this? Leave a comment below. Like this video, share this video. You are awesome, just for being you. You are brave, just for being you. You do not need to be me to be brave. You need to be you. Thank you, friends. Bye!